Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint a red rose using watercolors. This is a great tutorial for beginners. This is a fairly simple flower to draw and I'll show you some simple techniques for painting it in. You'll also learn some beginning watercolor techniques such as mixing colors and glazing. All you need are basic watercolor supplies. You need watercolor paper, watercolor paints, and I'm just using a simple eight color set water. I'm going to be using a round number 10 and then a flat three quarter inch brush. This will be for the background and this will be what I paint the rose with. Some paper towel, a scratch piece of paper, and a pencil and eraser. And last but not least, masking tape. And this is just blue painter's tape. And this is if you want to paint the borders. And it is optional. I like to tape my borders so that's the first thing that I'm going to do and this is optional. To tape your borders, you just overlap your paper slightly depending on the size of border that you want. I like it, it holds my paper down and gives it a nice crisp edge. All right, this first part is optional. You can choose to paint a light background first if you would like. Then we will draw on top of it. So I'm going to break it down into simple steps. So we will draw it together in pencil and then we will fill it in with watercolor. I'm creating a big puddle because I'm gonna be painting in this whole background area. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to this, and I don't want it to be bright yellow, so there's a few colors I can add to dull it just a little bit. I might add just a little bit of purple. And that's just going to make it not as bright. Let me just check it and see what color it is. That's nice and creamy. So I'm loading up my bigger brush. I'm using this bigger brush to paint my background with. And I'm just gonna cover the whole background with this color, trying not to scrub my paper. Scrubbing is where you go back and forth over the same area, and you essentially start to wear your paper away. Just trying to pick up these petals. Let that background dry, then we will draw our rose on top of it. And the rose is taking up most of our paper. So we're gonna start at below halfway, and we're just gonna draw a simple upside down bell shape or smiley face, and draw this really lightly so light that you don't even need to erase it. I'm gonna draw it a little darker so that you can see it, but make sure you're drawing it lightly, and then it kind of bells in, comes at the top out like that. And then right in the middle of it, we have our stem twisting off to the side. Make sure you make your stem big enough so it looks like it could actually carry the weight of this flower. We're going to just draw these simple petals. This first petal comes out not quite so far, and then it comes back in and up. And when it gets to about right here, we're gonna stop it. Once we get to this point, let's jump out and then come back in like it's kind of like a little tattered. And then once we get past, just a little bit past here, let's just stop it. And then we're gonna start the petal and it's gonna start not quite halfway, but a little bit more than halfway on where the stem is. It's gonna bump out and then curve back in and it's gonna meet up with this line. So we're creating this nice shape in here. And then about right here, we're gonna start taking a line parallel to it. So we're making like a long skinny triangle and then curve that up. So kind of have this tube shape. Take your eraser and erase out any lines that are from before that might be throwing you off. So this petal comes out and it definitely bells in a lot more than the one before. And it's not gonna come as, as tall as this side, it's coming a little bit lower. But before it does, it just curves out to the side. So we have almost like this little box right here and then all these little tatters and twisty parts and then it comes up to a point and then back down and then there's just gonna be part of a petal right here. So you're just jumping over. And it is lower than this petal, which is good. It kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. Now on the front side of it, this petal starts, let's come in just a little bit. It comes up and then it's gonna start going back, coming in close to this point. And then when we get to the bottom of where we have like this triangle, we're just gonna bring out a line and come down like that. So you have this really skinny part. Let's erase these lines so they don't, don't confuse us. Erase these lines so you don't get confused. And now we'll just make a few little indications of a little bit of some feathering that's going on in this petal. Okay, so right here we're gonna create a triangle in this little shape right here. And we're gonna create it by bringing this petal back. Just, and it's gonna overlap just a tiny bit. Meet back up with this petal, almost like an upper lip shape and bend back in. So this is just where this petal is kind of 
folding over a little bit. Now let's come back in and let's draw this big petal that's in here. There's almost like the shark fin that's coming up and out. So we're gonna start on this petal, just about right here, not high up, not down low, just kind of in the middle of this shape. And we're gonna bring it over and it's going to come a little bit higher than this petal. And then it's gonna make like a cool shark fin and curve back in and come all the way down into here. And then in front of it, if you walk down just a little bit, like to right here, just bring a little line up, come down a little, and then curve it. We have this nice petal that's coming inside. So they're all kind of wrapping around the centerpiece that we're gonna draw right now. And it's over a little bit in this direction. It looks kind of like a diamond without really sharp edges or an eye. Once you draw it, just draw the edges coming back down. Walk over from it a little bit with your pencil and then just draw this nice petal that comes behind it. And then we're gonna draw this first petal that's gonna just be curving around. So it's kind of just tucking it in a little bit. And I'm gonna erase this line just so I can draw these petals in. Not worry about erasing it after. Let's go ahead and erase that line so it's just gone and out of the way. So we're gonna bring this petal up. It's gonna touch that petal come to a little point, and then it's gonna swoop down and come around these petals. And at the top of this one, it's gonna come up, come to a little point, and then tuck around this petal right here. And then we just need to finish this petal by bringing this back in, and this is just like a triangle shape. And the last petal is just tucked in here. It just comes down and in. There's two petals that are coming along the side, almost like, like elf ears, <laughs> but there's probably a better way to describe them, but they get skinnier at the top and then they just come and tuck right under the flower. And then the one on this side does the same thing, except it's kind of sharp. This one, let's just start it below and it kind of comes. And then we have these, this really sharp one that's coming down with another one, like two little fingers. And then there's a ton that are coming up in front of this petal and I might make it a little bit simpler than it is. And then just erase any lines that are behind it. Adjust any parts of the rose that you want to adjust before we start painting. So it starts a little bit below this petal, comes out, and then goes back behind. And let's get set up with our watercolors and ready to paint. So we're going to be painting in more of a medium color to start with. And I'll show you how to pull out some highlights and some of those medium areas are really light. Maybe we can paint in some of the light areas first, actually. Let's do that. So let's make a puddle. And how do we make light red? With a lot of water and a little bit of red, if it looks too pink, you can add a little bit of orange to it. I mean, we want it to be light, but we don't want it to be white. And we already have a little yellow on our paper. So if we make it too light, it's just not gonna even stand out at all. Okay, so this is gonna be our lightest color. And so looking at the rose, there's a little bit of this color along the top part of this petal and a little bit of it in this petal right here. If you wanna smooth out the edge, I mean, I don't know why you would want to right now, but let's just say you wanted that to be the shadow. Just take a little bit of water and run along the edge and you get this nice light highlight, which looks really good along areas like this. So we're just painting in these lighter areas and there is a little bit of a light area around this edge. So I'm just rinsing my brush and blotting it and then I'm just gonna come along this edge just to smooth it out a little bit. This will all be more of a medium color once we get there. And then this is all pretty light in here. This is actually the lightest part of the flower is right here. And I'm just gonna paint in this whole petal with this light color. It'll definitely get darker, but... And then this lighter area on this side. Just pay attention to your edges. So we're just taking this light color and we're just painting it in a few different areas. And in here, I'm gonna show you a technique to make it a little bit lighter. Oh, but we need to make sure we get this little section. And let's see if there's any other light areas. This isn't too dark. This one has a shadow, but there is some light on the top. So let's paint that one in. And then I think we're pretty good. I think we've covered most of the light areas on here. So now we're gonna paint in the medium areas. So we're just gonna add a little bit more red to this puddle. I'm adding more water just so I make sure I have enough paint to finish painting this rose in. So this color is a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna paint in these medium areas. So like this petal, this petal, I'm gonna paint in the majority of this petal and I'll kind of show you how to shade a little bit with this. But first let's just paint in this big petal right here. 
You can see this was supposed to be medium and it still looks pretty light. Just slightly overlap your paint and that's going to help it to be more of a flat color if that's what you want or you can have it look a little bit more painterly. So then take that same medium color and let's paint in this petal right here. You can see it doesn't look as dark, like I, it kind of needs to be a little bit darker than it is. We're probably just gonna have to add more pigment to it. And then we're gonna paint in these petals. And again, this is the edge, so be really careful with those edges. If it starts to get too light, just add a little bit more pigment to it. Also, it's gonna get a little bit lighter as you run out of color. So you might have to remix your color a few times. And then let's get that same color, and I'll show you how to do a little bit of shading in this petal first. We're gonna start in this area right here, bring it up to that petal, curve it a little bit. And then along the edge, rinse your brush off, blot it off, and then just slowly go along it. You have to make sure that the color underneath is dry. And these lights kind of make it hard to see that reflection when you move it. You can just barely tap on the edge and it's gonna make it look a little bit darker. Now let's fill in this area right here. I'm just gonna paint in the middle of this so you can see what it would look like. And then let's paint in this petal. So this petal has two light spots on it. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how to create those. Rinse your brush off, blot it off, and then on the edge, I'm just gonna slow, lightly come along it with my dry brush so that it fades it just a little bit into that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We wanna make sure this looks like it's the same petal. And we'll add more values in here to separate the petals in just a second. So now we really need to separate some of these petals. But let's just get this super dark one in just so you can kind of see what it looks like and so that we don't forget it. If you get big petals like that, just blot your brush off and dry it off. It's okay to have some white areas in here. Okay, so now there's some shading that we need to do and some darker areas that we need to add. Also some petals that need to be a little bit more separated inside of here. Like this one for sure has a big, big shadow on it. It's not light at all. So just put some of your dark red on it and then I'm just gonna lightly come around the edges with my dry brush to smooth it out just a little bit. Now let's add some shading on this first petal because it looks really flat. It doesn't look like it's round at all. So we're gonna make a darker red. Okay, and there is a shadow on this flower of this petal right here. And it kind of comes out at an angle and then goes down and it's more transitional to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna bring it right along the edge. Then I wanna smooth this out just a little bit. So I'm just coming along the edge with my wet brush. I don't want it to look stripey. So trying to avoid that, but sometimes that's just what happens. And I'm just gonna continue that darker color right along the bottom of this petal. So it looks like it's folding in and coming out. Now let's get our darker colors and just add, this isn't my darkest color, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading to this petal that looks pretty flat. So we're just gonna paint the same color over the top and then along the edges, dry your brush off, blot it off. Just lightly come along those edges and smooth it out a little bit. And you don't have to do that. In fact, this is kind of lifting off the paint underneath. Okay, let's get our darkest red for this area, some of these areas and down in here. And I might even add just a tiny bit of green to make it even darker. And this petal is just completely dark, so we don't need to worry about any shading on it. It's just in the background. And then we need that same color in some of these shaded areas in here. And there's actually like a shadow on the side of this. So putting in these really dark shadows, that is what defines these flower paintings. Now we're gonna add the darkest darks. So I'm getting my red and a little bit of green, and I'm just filling in some of these areas that I need more shadows in. And you might need more shadows to give it some depth. You might need some more shadows to break up some areas that are kind of sticking together. Like in here, all of these petals are just kind of becoming one. So I, I wanna separate them more. So again, using red and a little bit of green, we can create some contrast. So I'm gonna make this petal just a little bit darker so you can see it. So we're just playing around with values here and just trying to get some different values in that will separate some of these shapes and make some stand out and some kind of retreat into the background. Like up in here, these two kind of come together. So we might wanna add just a little bit of some shading in here. So I just add the dark area and then I'm just going along it lightly with my brush. And then this area in here is getting mixed into this spot. So I'm just gonna add a, a tiny bit of a darker hue. And then this petal still looks super flat. So I'm just gonna actually get my brush. I'm gonna get a little paint on it. And any of these areas where I see a little bit of white, 
because I'm just going to smooth them out a little bit because those white areas look like highlights. I'm going to darken up this shadow again and try to keep it. So it's kind of, this is glazing is just going over it and redefining areas so that it looks a little bit more round. We're adding some dimension onto it. So I just kind of blurred this bottom part. So you can keep these hard um, shadows if you want. I'm going to try to smooth it out again without making it look striped, which isn't going very well. And then we want to make sure we add depth to these different petals. So there's definitely going to be some shading along the bottom of this one. So I'm just adding some of a darker color and then I just really want this to be smooth. So I'm rinsing my brush and drying it off and trying to just, I don't want to soak up the paint though. That is what you want to avoid. So now anywhere I'm looking at this and it starts to kind of come together a little bit too much, I'm just going to add some shadows to separate some of these shapes inside. Look at your rows and see if there's any areas that kind of come together a little bit too much or where you can't necessarily see where one petal starts and where one petal is supposed to be ending. And then does it look round? Does it look like it has form and depth? It just looks a little bit flat. So I'm going to try to just add a little bit along the top. Then I'm going to dry it off and just kind of bring it down a little bit onto you. So I'm just drying my brush off and just trying to pull that a little bit. This is giving it a little bit of texture, but that's okay. This does have texture on it. It definitely has some texture in here and on this petal here. So let's just let this dry for a minute and let's work on the petals. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of, of depth. We've got a little bit of texture. You can add some more shading if you would like. We could do a little bit more in here. Darken up the inside of this just a little bit more and redefine some of these edges a little bit. Like in here, if this is too light, I'm just gonna, I don't wanna highlight in this shadow. I would really like to separate those two petals. So you can take your paintbrush and use it to redefine some of these details that sometimes get lost or smudged out. Like this furry area right here, we're just gonna, I'm just smoothing it out. Any areas where they're coming together, I might just bring a light color in between to separate them a little bit. And here, just a tiny little shadow so that we know there's more than one petal back there. And you can kind of work, work with these petals, make them lighter, make them a little bit darker. This one looks like it like doesn't even exist or like it's the lightest part of the rose, which it's not. So use your paintbrush to add any, sh any other shadows or highlights in there that you think that you need. And now we are ready to paint in these stems below. So we're going to make a green. You can make a green by just using the green in your palette, or you can make your green with yellow and blue. So I'm just going to make it yellow and a little bit of blue. And the first layer, we don't want it to be too dark. I might add a tiny bit of red to it so it's not so bright. And this is so limey green. Once you've made your light green color, go ahead and paint in your stem and your leaves on the side. We'll paint it with a lighter color and then we'll add a shadow color on top. And you can make this more of a lime green. You can make this more of a grass green, bright green. After you get that color, let's just add more blue, more yellow, and then add a little red to that. And then we're just going to add some shadows to this. You can add shadows while it's wet and they'll blend a lot nicer than if it's dry. And you can add them to your leaves. Also, if you want to pull out any highlights, like if I got this too dark, I can just dry my brush off, bring it back through. And if I don't like how harsh this line is right here, I'm just going to smooth it out with a wet paintbrush. If you need to add anything, what you might need to add and where. Once it's dry, take your tape off and you should just see a light, light background. So you can still see where I'm taking the tape off, but your background should be so light that it's it almost disappears into it. And there you have your red rose. So now you can sign it, give it to someone you love. Also work in some of these areas. Hopefully you learned a little bit about shading in this tutorial and how to make it look like there's more depth inside of the rose. You can always come back in and add more shading. Like if you wanted to make this a little bit darker in here, you can kind of keep working with it and adjusting it. If I, the more I look at this, the more I want to just keep changing things. Sometimes you just have to say you're finished and that's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed drawing and painting with me today and you learned how to draw and paint a rose using watercolor. You can also use pens to outline these. You could use Copic markers to fill them in. Give this to somebody you love and you are finished. <laughs>